fucking hole is. It's like my actual gaping anus after I have like an eight inch dick thrust in there. Like literally. So who cares? Why not do your own thing and let them say what they want? Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of FNM in Las Vegas. This is gonna be fun. I cannot believe how much shit I got compared to how much I thought I was gonna get, which is like nothing because moving my PO box took so long. I really fucking appreciate you guys' help in keeping this going because I had no idea that it was going to. I thought it would kind of die off as I moved. Then when I realized I couldn't even open a PO box until I lived here with an ID and had proof of my residence, I was like, oh my God, FNM is absolutely fucked. So I am pleasantly surprised and very, very grateful for you guys, especially with last night's stream and the the rest of you know what I'm talking about if you didn't watch last night's stream in the next shit Tara says because oh my god my viewers my friends are the fucking best thank you guys so much I just wanted to shout you out in the video as well without further ado the winner of last month's giveaway is Ronya R Ronya R for some reason that's hard to say anyway congratulations girl if you want to sign up for this week's giveaway link, as always, will be down in the description. I know it's been a while, so I do have to remind you guys how this works. Also, I take three questions or two or three questions every week. So if you have any questions, post those in the comment section. This week's questions taken from last month's FNM, the last FNM in Seattle, are as follows. Let me get my phone. Larissa Lenton says, question, what's your plan for Eve when it comes to letting her outside? Is she gonna be an outdoor cat or an indoor slash outdoor cat? My cats are indoor slash outdoor cats because I wouldn't want them cooped up inside when they are perfectly safe going outdoors. But of course, I know it also has to do with where you live. I live in a cul-de-sac. I have a reserve behind my house and my entire street has cats. I just thought I'd ask because I'm genuinely curious. I do not believe in letting cats outside at all. So Eve will be an indoor cat that gets to go outside daily on walks on a leash, as she has been, and she's so adorable when she's on a leash, let me tell you guys. If you ever have a chance to look up the statistics, there's something like outdoor cats have a lifespan of three to five years, whereas indoor cats have a lifespan of around 16 years. Obviously, as Larissa said, it depends on where you live. Not judging you or anything, you can do whatever you want. If you think your cat's safe, I'll trust you on that. Thanks for the question, babe. Question! What should you do if your boyfriend wears a condom during sex and does not feel anything? I don't want to get pregnant, but I want to have sex, but he doesn't feel anything. Help. Nine times out of 10, if a guy says that you are under the age of 18, or maybe like 21 and he's kind of a fuck boy, and he's saying that simply to get you to have sex without a condom. Fact number one, yes, it does feel better without a condom. However, fact number two, he most certainly can feel something and it still feels good enough to come unless he has some kind of issues. Sometimes when you're circumcised, which most people in the US are, the head of your penis can be less sensitive, meaning that you feel less when you have a condom on, but millions and millions of guys everywhere are wearing condoms as responsible adults or teenagers to have safe sex and to not have kids before they're ready. I think this is hugely important, way more important than having the best feeling sex ever. If he needs help coming after you've come, just take the condom off, jerk him off, or finish him in your mouth. Those are safe alternatives. Be careful, girl, you have to think of yourself first. You do not want to have a kid before you're ready and you do not want any diseases. Good luck. And last question. Actually, there's two more. This isn't much of a question, but Aaron Fernando says, my biggest dream is that you salute me and you can make my dream come true. I'm very bad at saluting, but there you go. Last question, for real this time. Sweet XO Girl XO asks, did you buy a house or are you renting? So I made a bunch of vlogs on this topic and at the end of the vlogs, I realized that I didn't have enough money reported on my tax return to actually buy a house that I want. I wrote too much off in the previous years. I haven't had the income I've had as long as I need to, which is not enough to buy the house of my dreams. So why buy now when I can rent and then buy in one or two years and be more responsible with how I write things off on my taxes? Anyway, I am perfectly happy with being here and I actually might try to rent to own or buy this house from these people after my term's up. Hey baby. She's right above me. I have to show you. What you doing, baby? What you doing? I know she's gonna drop Chester right on my head. Eve. Anyway, I hope that answers all your questions. If you have any more, post them in the comments. And as always, if you started off with question, like Dwight Schrute, you're more likely to be picked. Let's open stuff. Oh. What is it? What is it? Oh, I've missed this so much. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I love you, Eve from Zoe. Oh my God. So I put this on my wish list. I didn't think she would ever get it. I didn't think anyone would buy Eve gifts, but I have an inkling based on what people have told me that most of the things in FM from now on are gonna be for Eve, which I am completely happy with. But this is actually a harness with kitty skull and crossbones and a hood. I don't think it's gonna fit her right now, but we're gonna put it on her right now because it's gonna be cute. Eve, come here. Oh, I can actually tighten it so it can be like pretty small. How do I get her to come? 
That's what he said. Oh man, I'm gonna go get her. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. This is legitimately the cutest thing I have ever seen. Oh man, you are so cute. Oh my god. I can't with this little hood. Oh, she's such a kitty badass. Thank you, Zoe. Thank you. Oh my god, Zoe. She's so cute. I can't. I can't. It's like a little hoodie making her look like a badass. The badass she is. That's it. Nothing else in the world is cute. Just Eve. Because, oh my god. <laughs> We've got to move on. But this is from Pekka. I actually had this sent to my house, so I know what it is. And Pekka bought me last month before I moved, and I knew I couldn't get it to my apartment before I moved, so I waited until I moved. And he got me a Spirited Away slash Eve soot ball. Yes, I think I can stick it here. I love it. Oh, it doesn't stick. Pekka, I love you. You are fucking amazing. The contribution that you made to the newest shit Tara says, oh, mwah. sweetest thing ever. Thank you. All right, I don't know what's going on with this box. It looks like someone is really trying to make something not get wrecked and failing. How do I even open this? I feel like this person probably hates me. Like, what is going on here? Oh, I think I know what this is. Oh, it is. It's my personalized like fighter pilot looking helmet from this company or this Etsy store. Not really a company. I think it's like a, just a private Etsy store, but they offered to make me this cool helmet. Oh my God. We've got the portion of this that allows you to breathe. If you're up in crazy areas or something, I look kind of like Bane. Oh my God, it's Pikachu themed. Oh, Zoe's gonna be so jealous. <laughs> It says Babcock too. Oh my God, this is awesome. Dear Ms. Babcock, hope all is going well at the new place. It took some work, but I think we made a helmet we could be proud of and one you'd like. It would be wonderful if you could give us a shout out on YouTube or Instagram. We are Detroit Comic Art and we sell on Etsy. We hope you're as thrilled as we are. And good luck, Captain. Detroit Comic Art on Etsy. I'm gonna be posting their link in the description. This is absolutely wonderful. You guys did such an amazing fucking job. Oh my god, this is beyond my wildest fucking fantasies of what you guys said you were gonna do. Oh man, this is cool. Okay, so we have to figure out how the fuck to use this with it though. I think it's something like this. Either way, let me try to get in for like a sexy thumbnail style shot. I, I'll figure out how to put this on later and then I'll do some Instagram pictures. So Instagram and YouTube, I'm gonna be posting Detroit comic art in the description. Go check them out if you want your own fucking custom crazy ass helmet. This is great, way high quality. I love that it's Pikachu themed. Ground control to major Tom. <laughs> I'll stop. Bowie's like turning in his grave right now. Thank you, thank you. You guys are awesome. Also, a thank you to my patrons for allowing me to have, oh my God, what is this? I see a carrot. Oh, it's a cat carrot. Thank you to my patrons for allowing me to get a better camera, a few better things for my equipment, and a better lens. So I hope you guys are enjoying all the new sets, all the new places, and yes, thank you guys for fucking everything. So this is a 24 carat, <clears throat> cat carrot, 100% catnip filled. Eve, Eve. Fun fact, I'm not like a cat expert, so I'm sorry with all the like cat facts. I know, I know it's probably obnoxious. Oh, she's coming. Catnip carrot? Anyway, 50% of cats are actually immune to catnip and all cats do not respond to catnip until they're three months old. So I'm continually trying catnip with Eve, but it doesn't seem like it works with her. But then again, we don't actually know her real age. So she could be a little bit younger than three months right now, but it's looking like she doesn't care. So this box was from Melanie. Aw, Melanie. Tara, congrats on your new little family. I hope every new chapter of your life always ends with happy ever after. I am so sad that I can't be active with Discord, new job, but I'll always be a loyal fan. XOX, I adore you, Melanie. Aw, Melanie. You are fucking beautiful, by the way. Please be more active on Discord, females only and post pics. You're one of the most beautiful females I know and even more so now that I have a pink Yoshi from you. I actually have like in my Nintendo wall, there's one place missing for Yoshi and I'm actually like spacing them out, but now I can finally fill it with my pink Yoshi. Aw, this is so cute. I hate tags. Oh, he's even got a little mouth. Look at his mouth. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> Love you, girl. I adore you too. We've got something from Sean Black. Sean Black, it's a Sean Black attack. I've got Power Rangers. Oh shit, I haven't even watched this yet. Jay's gonna be so happy. I think he likes Power Rangers twice as much as I do, roughly. I want that pink Power Ranger suit like real bad. All right, let's open your card, which is just thank you. 
If you took all the awesome friend great person things about you and stacked them up as high as they'd go. Aw, Subway gift card! Oh, there's Subways next to my house. Thank you! That shit would be really tall. Thank you for helping make my day that much more pleasurable to get through. From Sean. Aw, Sean. That's the wrong two. But Sean, you're so perfect, I love you. This, oddly enough, is how I feel about you. So thank you so much. We've got something from somewhere. Aw, it's from Barney. Hi Tara, I hope you and Jay and Eve have unpacked and settled in your new home. My first gift to you, not the last. I hope you like it. Enjoy your gift from Steve, AKA Barney. Mwah! Thank you, Barney. Do you want to be called Barney or Steve? Ooh, they're like metal leggings. Let's go put these on. Oh, I feel like I've been screaming. <laughs> Love them. Thank you, Barney. Oh, you're fucking awesome. Oh, one of the things I missed the most about FNM, new leggings. You guys have made my fucking day amazing, and I'm not even done yet. You're a fucking badass, you did not have to. Hi Tara, thought you and Jay could use this. Very sexually yours, Lucas Taylor. P.S. Welcome to Vegas, this is not Donald. I have it on good authority that Lucas Taylor is Donald. They tweet similar things to me on the interwebs. So let's see what Donald got me for my sexuality. How to talk to your cat about gun safety. And abstinence, drugs, Satanism, and other dangers that threaten their nine lives. Okay. We've got to read an excerpt. What's the problem with my cat having premarital sex anyhow? Isn't it no big deal? Our liberal media wants your cat to think that most of their fellow felines are having sex outside the covenant of marriage. Make no mistake, this is a lie. A lie sculpted to serve their heathen agenda. A lie that will cause American cats to fall into depravity. One gift I know Donald won't get. Sniper wolf. My sworn enemy and the person I want to be my secret lover. My hair fucking fell out. Come on, girl. Thank you, Donald. AKA Lucas. AKA, you're the best. Oh man, what is this? Oh shit. Who does this come from? Oh, thank God there's a no- What? No note? Hold up a minute. There it is. Okay, thank God. I was gonna kill myself. Hi, LMT. Have fun with this giant rubber duck in your pool. 80 inches. I don't know if this is gonna fit in our pool. I think you overestimated. Warning, this is not a life-saving device. I really feel like this would work as a life-saving device. I feel like you're wrong, and you should just stop saying that. You guys see how fucking big this is? What? It oh my God. It has motherfucking eyelashes. I don't think I have, look how big this fucking hole is. It's like my actual gaping anus after I have like an eight inch dick thrust in there. Like literally. There's no way I'm gonna be able to do this. Should I do it? I might actually pass out. Should I pass out on cam? Fuck dude. Okay, the room is actually starting to spin already. So. Wow, guys, holy shit. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> I, can't, I can't pick it up. Okay, okay, what does it say? You have officially become a crazy cat lady. You do nothing but post pics of Eve. I think you're obsessed. Anyway, here's a housewarming gift I thought you could use. Oh, God, oh fucking shit ass. Oh, holy fuck. <laughs> you know what's hilarious? Okay, so when we got this from the, the post office or whatever, like, Jay goes, what is this, kitty litter? <laughs> Donald, why? Oh man, I've missed this series. Oh man. Guys, if anyone wants to send me a box cutter, I actually don't know where any of my box cutters, but this old one that I stole from my dad, even went. So, I would appreciate you giving me a box cutter as a gift. Lovely LMT, who does this black kitten remind you of? Aw, it's Eve. Eve. Oh shit! Collapsible three-way cat tunnel! <sighs> Dear LMT, Snowy and Panda got the previous version of this toy. Now Queen Eve gets the newer one. Oh, yeah, this is a cat toy. Catit. Cat tit. Sense 2.0, super circuit. Gonna be opening this. Oh, baby, you're here! Eve. What do you think of this kitty? What do you think of this kitty? What do you think of her? Do you like her? 
Indifferent? Oh man, like look at my cat in this fucking hoodie. It's so fucking cute, I can't. Meine Schatze. Jay's gonna have to put this together. Comes with balls. Can't wait to show it to Eve. Ah! Eve. Eve. Hey baby. It's like when you have something between your teeth and you, like popcorn, you can never get it out. Whatever. You guys are fucking amazing. So amazing to me. I absolutely appreciate everything you've done for me. I cannot wait to get your letters, to get your packages. Your kind comments and your wishes in that hard time in my life definitely got me through. So thank you. Like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed. We need to add more obligatory ass shots. So one moment. Boom, 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 boom. And I will see you guys next week in another episode of Friday Night Mail. I fucking love you. Mwah! Now to have Jay blow up this ducky and go jump in the pool with all my clothes on. Or all my clothes off. Just a second, my neck. Wow. All right, guys, it's duck time. Oh, shit. It's bigger than I am. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, okay, cool. Normalization. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, fuck. Not the camera. You okay, beetle buddy? Awesome, don't go in the pool anymore, cause that's retarded. Oh, that from here. oh shit, will you take her out front? Okay, with what? Your hand, she's a beetle. You do it with your hand. She's a beetle! You already did it with your hand. Jesus fucking Christ, Jay. Bye bye, beetle buddy. Okay. Oh man. <laughs> I'm gonna get wet. I'm gonna get wet? Oh. Oh man. Oh, God. oh wow. <laughs> Oh, you're, you're right, it worked. It worked! You gotta push me off. Well, the kitty's in the bathroom. Just push me off one time, you know? Just push me off. <laughs> My leg's wet. It's all wet here. Oh. Oh, wondrous. This is sufficient, I think. Good boy, rubber tongue. <laughs> what an idiot. Wet titties. Yeah.